goodness, can you believe it? We're back in our old background. Hello, do you remember everything? Goodness, it's been a long time. But that's only because I'm back from Taiwan for a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice to be home for a little bit. But anyways, time has flew by because now it is already February. And so that means we have to do our January favorites. So yeah, let's just get started. Absolutely. My first favorite has been a blush, and this is the Bourjois Paris Depuis number 37 Rose Pom Pon. So it just looks like this. It's a baked blush. And I don't know. I found this in Taiwan, and when I first saw it, I was like, this is like nothing special. This just looks like a light pink blush. But when you put it on, it gives you such a pretty like glow to the cheeks, and it's like a rosy glow. And it's perfect for winter, and I like it because it's not very pigmented, so... <clears throat> it's really easy to just sweep on and you don't really have to think about it or be careful, which is good because I'm not very careful. So this has been my first favorite of January. My first favorite product for the last month has been my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15 PA Plus in the shade Sand 2. I purchased this while I was in Taiwan and they were having like their like annual apartment store sale. And so this has just been my favorite foundation because I find that it is a light to medium coverage. So it does cover up any like acne scars that I might have from the past or any redness in my skin, but it's not cakey where I feel like my skin can't breathe. And what I love most about this is that the consistency isn't like most foundations that I have. It's more on the watery side. So I love pairing it with my beauty blender and it just makes you have like a flawless skin that just looks so good and I have never tried a Bobbi Brown foundation in the past so I'm actually really glad I started out with this one and I've been loving it since. My next favorite has been a concealer and ever since high school lack of sleep more homework you need more of this so this is the Revlon color stay concealer in the shade number two light pale and I love this because it's a pretty heavy concealer which is good because most of the foundations I use are really like light coverage foundation so pairing this it covers up all of my acne and all of my dark circles and even though it's not a peach concealer it's still pretty brightening just because it is lighter than my shade I have right now so this has been my favorite and it's also very easy to blend so to go with my Bobbi Brown foundation my favorite powder is the Bobbi Brown powder that it, I got with it which is the sheer finish pressed powder in the shade Sands soft sand number five and it's just a beautiful powder that's really finely milled and it goes on the skin so beautifully. It makes you look just flawless. It doesn't make you look cakey or powdery where it gives you kind of an older look, but rather it's just very simple and it just, I don't matter. It kind of mattifies your foundation, but not to the point where you're completely matte. It still gives you a semi dewy finish. So I've just been loving this powder and it goes perfectly on my skin It matches beautifully where I don't have any of like the foundation lines or any sort of mishaps like that. So I have just been loving this powder and it's super easy to use. Um, I will say I think it's on more on the pricey side, but if I think you're going to splurge on a powder, then I would definitely go for this one because it again is beautifully milled and so soft and it's just amazing. Okay, so my eyeshadow favorite of the month has been my Maybelline New York Trio in... Okay, I have a problem with this. It has two names. So it's either Chic Naturals or Chocolate Mousse. Yeah, it just comes with three colors and it comes with a base, lid, and a crease. But what I like to do is I like to take the base and put it on my lid. <clears throat> and it's really, really brightening and it makes my eyeshadows look really natural but kind of makes my eyes look a little bit bigger in a way just because the white and like the dark browns and it just like really blends beautifully together. And this is my favorite. It's also really inexpensive. You can find this pretty much anywhere. It's really pigmented and it's not shimmery and it's not matte. So it's perf. So my favorite eyeshadows this month or this past month has been the Naked, Naked 3 palette. Um, I had got this as a Christmas gift from my aunt and ever since I got it I've been using it nonstop because it's just the most perfectly mix of colors that I think go for everyday look and also if you're going to build a smoky eye. But what I love most about this palette compared to all the other um, Naked series is that it has a pink hint to it. 
so you ha can see that it's more of a champagne color where it builds up like that and gets darker and so forth. And I just find that these colors are so easy to use and they're so beautiful and they blend really beautifully as well. And so this trip back from Taiwan, I only brought this palette and my Naked palette because I know that with these mix of colors, I know I can build up a lot of different looks and they just go perfectly for any occasion that you're going to go for. So I just find that this palette has been so doable and so perfect for every day, for going out, and it's just been my favorite this past month. So my favorite mascara of the month is a throwback. If you've been watching us from the very beginning, you guys know how much I loved the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara. I can literally go on for days talking about this one mascara, but I don't think you guys want to listen to that. But it just... I don't know. Something about it makes my lashes very, very long and thick, but it doesn't look clumpy at all. And I just love the brush and how it bends. I love how it bends because I'm just a weirdo like that. And the smell actually smells kind of good to me. And most mascara smell kind of bad, but this one smells good. And also I love how it doesn't make your eyelashes very dry and brittle and crunchy feeling. It's actually still feeling really natural and still like bendable. It doesn't like crack. Mm. So this has been my favorite mascara. Talk about throwback. This is definitely an oldie but a goodie. The Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I don't know how much like I can explain my love for this. Like I, I have like a lack of words as to explain how much I love this mascara because out of all the mascaras I've used, regardless if it's drugstore or a name brand one, this has been the one that's beat out every single one of them because I don't know what it does. It has like magical powers and it makes your eyelashes just look so long and voluminous and it's not long to the point where it feels like it's about to break or it looks really weak. It just gives you that perfect medium between length and volume and I just, I don't know how else to describe this mascara besides the fact that it's amazing and it's the best out there. And what I love about Maybelline mascaras is their waterproof formula is definitely waterproof. You don't ever have to worry about it smudging or looking like raccoon eyes by the end of the night. And so I just freaking love this mascara. And I know a lot of you out there probably agree with me because this is definitely an oldie but a very, 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 very goodie. To continue on the mascara train, um, another one has another Maybelline, I don't know what's wrong with me, the Maybelline one by one and again this is a pretty old mascara, it's been out for a really long time, but it never really interests me until now when I finally picked it up and the formula is good, but the reason I love this mascara is because of the brush. The brush is rubber bristles and it's spaced out so every lash can have like its own coating of mascara. So that's the main reason I love this mascara. It's because of the brush because it really does like smooth out any clumps that you may have in your mascara and it really makes your lashes look really separated and the formula is more of a like volumizing formula instead of lengthening so it also adds volume so that's a plus. Okay, this is a new product that I picked up while I was in Taiwan. This is a Maybelline can tell we really love Maybelline. Yeah. But this is the Maybelline Color Show Crayon Cole. And this is an eyeliner in a kind of a champagne color. And I just freaking love this. I have yet to see it here in the States, but I'm sure it will come soon. But what I love about this is that it is the perfect shade to highlight your eyes. So I love using it in the inner corners of my eyes. And it just instantly brightens up my eyes and makes you look more awake. And it gives you that vibrant look. And so what I love about this as well is that sometimes with using eyeshadow, um, the eyeshadow might fall throughout the day so the highlight doesn't stay throughout the day. But with this, it doesn't smudge and it doesn't um, wear off throughout the day so you remain looking awake and flawless throughout the entire day. So I just really love this and it's a great color. I think it's the perfect shade for highlighting as well. It's not too bright and it's not too pink so it's just the perfect eyeliner eyeliner say that five times speaking of Maybelline and eyeliners I have yet another Maybelline product this is the Maybelline line express eyeliner in brownish black and it's just a brown eyeliner but with this I love Maybelline eyeliners because again it does not smudge and it stays in place and I can put on my waterline and not have to worry about it <clears throat> and also I really like this because 
it's not as natural as like a regular brown eyeliner is, but it's not as harsh as a black. So it's like perfectly in the middle. Just a really dark brown eyeliner, and I like to use this on my um, tight line. And it makes my lashes look super thick, and it comes with a smudger. And actually, to you no, know, uh, the past month I have been loving putting brown eyeliner on yeah. my eyes. I don't know what it is about brown eyeliner, but it just gives you that like subtle look of like I'm ready to go out but I'm not too dolled up. So it's like the perfect shade because sometimes black is a little bit too harsh and that's not the look you're necessarily going for, but brown just makes everything A-OK. -okay. But the next product I have been loving is my Dior Capture Lift Serum. And I don't know if I have talked about this on this channel, but I did on my Chinese channel. Um, this is something that uh, kind of helps lift up your skin. So it gives you that V-shape um, to your chin. And what I love about this is that you can really see the difference and you can see it working really well. Um, I've noticed that after using it, um, your skin is a little bit tighter here and it does give you your face shape a more, like it looks better. I don't know necessarily how to explain it, but it just makes your face shape much more appealing and it works really well. And I don't know what it is, but I love the smell of it as well. So it's just a great product. I know that when I am finished with this tiny little bottle, I will definitely have to go out and get the full size. So moving on to my hair favorites, I have been loving the Garnier Fruity Style Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Protector. And I use like half of the bottle already, but <clears throat> I use this as just like a regular heat protectant. For this month, I've been really loving Garnier Fruity hair stuff. I don't know what, like I never really tried it until now. And this is amazing. First of all, it smells really good. And also, I feel like it really does protect the hair, and you do feel like it's a lot softer and more sleek, as it states. So, I have been loving this, and the spray to be thingy has, like, it sprays such a finely throughout the hair, so it's not like one patch is super wet. So, evenly distributed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she meant. <laughs> So, I have been loving this. I highly recommend this, and it's only like 4 or $5, so go get you some. Quote, 11th Gorgeous. So, for the past month, I have been loving these two lip products, which I'll kind of explain in one because it kind of came together. But one is my Dior Lip Balm, and one thing I love about this, it's the Color Revival Lip Balm, which means that depending on your body temperature, the color will change. So it's gonna look differently on everybody. And I find that for myself, it's fairly red on me. Um, I already have naturally really red lips in general. So this has made it just even brighter and a lot more vibrant without using a lipstick, which is what I love because sometimes lipsticks have that taste and that formula that I don't personally like myself and it can make your lips a little bit drier. But with this, because it's also a lip balm, it really, moisturizes your lips but also gives you that color as well so and then the other lip product that I've been loving is my lip maximizer which is also by Dior and I know my lips are not tiny they're not small they're not thin I just love having full lips and so with this it gives you that like it's kind of like a buxom lip gloss where it gives you that tangly feeling it makes your lips a little bit bigger and I just I love it I just I find that it's it goes on beautifully and it's not too harsh or too like intense where your lips feel like they're on fire it just gives you that subtle plumpness that you need sometimes and because i think the color is similar to that of the lip gloss it looks differently each time i put it on depending on my body temperature but it definitely kind of gives you that life to your lips without being overwhelming filled with color so i just have been loving these two products they work beautifully and they're just great so staying on the trend of hair i have been loving this Curling iron, it is by Remington, and it's the Remington curling wand. And I got the smaller one, and I really like it. So this is how I get my curly hair. And also I featured this in my Get Ready With Me video, which we will link down below. It was our latest video. But, I don't know, I really like this, and I like how you can get really, really tight, fancy curls. Or if you don't hold it for too long, you can get nice, loose, beachy waves. So what I usually do is I like hold it for like 30 seconds. And I have thin hair, so it's pretty easy to curl. And I really like it, and it's pearl ceramic, so it doesn't damage your hair as much as other um, curling irons would. And personally, I like the wand best than a clamp. Mm -hmm. It definitely curls your hair a lot faster than a, 
one with a clamp wood, which I don't get why, but it definitely does make a difference. All right, time for random favorites. I really don't have one besides the fact that I love being home. The sensation of being home is just amazing. I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure all of you guys have been on, you know, trips, numerous trips before, but sometimes when you've been away for so long, coming home is like the best feeling in the entire world and being able to sleep on your own bed and kind of being in your own, you know, space. You don't have to feel like you're bothering anybody or you're invading someone else's space. So that is just my little random favorite. I love the sensation of being home and I am so glad. <laughs> my random favorite has been the TV show, The Fosters, and she knows what I'm talking about when I am obsessed with that show. I can literally go on forever and I am team Brandon and Callie. They better be together or I'm going to be so sad and what is life? So that has been my random favorite. I watched all 10 episodes on Netflix in one day, essentially 10 hours, but that's okay. Like, literally, she can, like, put down her phone and, like, not do anything and, like, not respond to when I ask her questions because that show is on. Oh, my goodness. And this is my face when I'm watching the new episodes. <laughs> that is exactly it. Completely 100%. But, all right. I guess that's it for our January favorites, and we hope you guys like them. Yeah, and you guys should follow us on all of our social media websites and Vine. I made in Vine, so you guys should follow me on that. And you will find all of our links down below and I will see and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.